Hey YouTube, Mark Kaufman here, and today I wanted to talk about my Case Knives Texas Jack Knife. Now, this one is mine, and this one is my grandfather's on my mother's side. I haven't done anything to this knife. I decided I'm not going to restore it or do anything to it. Now, um... Case experts out there, Case has a really confusing numbering system, but I haven't, I know it's got Case XX stamped on it, okay, and so you can see that there, Case XX, and my granddad is 96 years old, and he is still alive. And he has been married to his wife for 76 years. And they're both 96 years old. So that's, that's an incredible achievement into itself. But he gave me this knife. He doesn't know how old it is. He can't really remember. I would suspect he may have gotten it in the 50s or 60s. So that that's... Um, when I would suspect he had gotten this. So this is his, then this is mine. So these are both Texas Jacks, and the Jack comes from the term Jack Knife, which is a knife that has two blades on one side of the knife that go out in the same direction. So, and I don't know how this got the name Texas if it meant by big, I think they missed the mark on that because this is not a big knife. Um, not big. So, but it's a useful knife. I have enjoyed mine and I, I um, got this one with their carbon steel blade. And this one we can see that, yes, that is carbon steel. It's got some pitting on there. And the last thing that was cut on it was probably a green pencil. So that is pretty cool. We can see that this knife is in pretty poor shape, but this was carried. Um, this is a red boned knife and you can see here the coloring on that is fantastic. And um, this one is in a amber bone. And I, I really prefer Case's Amber Bone. I think their Amber Bone is just beautiful. And the way it's cut and jigged, it's just wonderful. So, I just wanted to do a really quick video on these two. We can notice already that this one has a half stop on it. Whereas this one here does not. So, no half stops on the modern ones. But um, I just wanted to do an example. Not example, just a discussion on an old Case Texas Jack. And then my case, Texas Jack, which I hope to give this to my daughter or my son. Um, right now I have a daughter and I'm hoping to have a son in the future. Now if I get another daughter, then that's fine. Um, and then here, I hope to give this to my daughter or son. But of course, I hope to have this much use out of it. So um, it looks like my granddad may have used this one as a pry bar of some kind and lost the tip on it. So... Yeah, that's unfortunate, but it just shows that that knife had some use on it. So, um, I just thought you guys would enjoy seeing these two knives and this one that has some family history to it. So, thank you so much for joining me in this really short video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, like and subscribe. That would be great. And I've got more videos down the pipeline. So, thanks for taking a look and uh, spending some time with me on my YouTube channel.